Hello, this is your weekly wrap up for Friday, May 31st, 2024. Pray you're all having a great week on this shortened Memorial Day holiday week. And uh, thankfully, we made it through another one. We have a lot to cover. So if you are new to the channel, please do like, subscribe, and share so that others can grow in the knowledge that you are being afforded. And thank you for sharing as well. Okay, so this week's shows, we had Mr. QC, the uh, Boeing whistleblower, and all the latest calamity that's going on within Boeing and the airline industry, respectively. We also had a show with good friend Nicholas Veniamen to round out a very uh, star-studded packed month of guests. <clears throat> Next week's shows, we have Derek Johnson returning, as well as Jim Willie for a second uh, interview, and we're looking forward to seeing what he has on the latest fronts geopolitically, especially financially. And then we're going to have good friend Andy Sheckman from Miles Franklin back with good friend Ian Farrar, Perium, and then dear Denise Bolin, who's had to reschedule due to some health issues, is now available for us uh, next week. So we look forward to reconnecting with her as always. Okay, here are the major headlines. A major explosion at a building this week in Youngstown, Ohio, reported multiple injuries at Chase Bank with an alleged gas leak. The cabinet of Thailand approved a letter to join BRICS this week. China is reportedly preparing large military fleets to invade Taiwan. Experts predict the invasion could conclude within an hour. This is according to, <clears throat> excuse me, the Gateway Pundit. Hamas has launched a large rocket barrage at Tel Aviv, Middle East, from the Middle East Spectator. So we're just waiting for the Middle East at this point to do their final attack on the secret nuclear power plants. So stay tuned. <clears throat> excuse me, here are the latest layoffs and re resignations. Uh, CEOs in particular, RU21 closing all 540 locations. Family Dollars closing 600 plus stores, CVS closing 900 stores, Party City is closing all of its locations, Foot Locker is closing 400 locations nationwide, Bed Bath & Beyond is closing all 360 locations, Christmas Tree Shops are closing all of their stores nationwide, Rite Aid to close 231 locations, Best Buy 15 locations, Carter's is closing all of its locations except for online presence. The 99 cent store is now closing 371 locations. Express uh, retail stores for clothing is closing all 100 stores. Walgreens to close 150 stores. And Expedia Group lays off 36 employees and promises more layoffs ahead. <clears throat> Speaking of the previously mentioned airline industry, American Airlines to cut its profit forecast for the second quarter of 2024, thereby causing a slump in its shares greater than what any other airlines are seeing. Uh, despite the promising travel summer season. Now, according to Reuters, the airline shares have dropped nearly 8% in pre-market trading as of this Wednesday. By comparison, Delta Airlines, Southwest, and United fell between 1.5 and 2.5%. The news about the stock slump comes at the heels of the American Airlines announcement that its executive vice president and chief commercial officer, Vazu Raja, will be leaving the company slated in June. Campbell Soup Company says it will be restructuring its business to be more efficient. As a result, the company will be closing down in an inefficient factory and moving operations. It says that this will affect the jobs of 415 employees. T-Mobile to acquire U.S. cellular and $4.4 billion deal. So the monopoly gets tighter with the cellular companies as current. <clears throat> now, there's some key news that I dropped on uh, Nick's show yesterday that you'll note, but I think it bears repeating. In 1957, Saudi Arabia and the U.S. struck a deal to sell oil on the petrodollar. Saudi Prince Tadi bin Salman has stated he will not renew the longstanding 67-year agreement. Therefore, as of June 9th this year, 2024, this agreement will be revoked. This is the only thing that is propping up the U.S. dollar at this point, and the Fed has been stating that they will stop buying the debt as of June. This affects that 10-year Treasury bond yield that we're always referring to, as well as the subject matter experts that we bring on uh, concurrently. <clears throat> this is the real-time price of metals and oil as of this broadcast. Gold is at $23.40.50. Silver holding steady at $31.57. It hit an all-time high this week of $32.04 and Brent crude at 82.98. Lastly, notable deaths, uh, Jim Otto, the Raiders longtime center and NFL Hall of Famer dies at 86. Legendary basketball player and broadcaster Bill Walton dies of cancer at age 71. Very sad on a personal note as I'm a longtime Celtics fan and uh, he contributed to one of our championships, but we, uh, we go, we put out prayers to the families that are 
this uh, monumental loss. And lastly, just a simple commentary, let's keep working together. Let's continue to lock arms and win this together. Division is what divides us. Unification is what unites us. Um, continue to work on your mindset to continue to remove negative thinking and negative toxic people and situations. Continue, continue to stay positive and surround yourself with the same like-minded people and continue to be solution oriented and taking action and becoming your own central bank. That wraps it up for this session with the provisal of two more things, pardon me, that just came across my desk. Uh, Bank of America has lost its case. SCOTUS decision has confirmed that the US has a dual banking system with federal and state chartering. So this is contributing to the decentralization, decentralization of banks, which ultimately for us in our position is a good thing. And EU confirms as of January, 2025 will be the start for Basel III global compliance. If anything else breaks out, we will come out and give that news to you immediately. Otherwise, have a great and safe weekend, and we'll see you for next week's shows and the wrap-up. Take care. God bless.